Well, I think our football team is really excited about opening the season after a really good off season. I think we've made tons of progress. Uh, we get to start the year with a regional opponent that has tons of tradition. Uh, I think it's going to be a great experience for our players to be right here at home with our fans, our city, our community, uh, our university right here at Cajun Field. I think the question at the beginning of most seasons is who are we, you know, as a team? And this will be really our first opportunity, um, you know, to start creating our identity. You know, what type of energy, enthusiasm, uh, purpose, togetherness will we play with? Play with? Um, regardless of rankings, preseason polls, uh, our focus is on our mindset and our preparation you know, really maximizing our focus, our self-discipline, our attention to detail. And, you know, as we approach this season, I think one of the keys for our team and our as a new staff is going to be kind of mastering that Sunday to Saturday routine and what that looks like for each individual player uh, on the team and every person in the organization relative to what their role is. So, you know, Gramlin has a good football team coming back. They are two-time conference champions. Um, Roderick Fives has certainly established himself there. They've got a lot of continuity with their staff. Um, you know, they they present a number of challenges. Offensively, they've got significant experience with five offensive linemen, a uh, really good group of skill players, um, in particular at receiver, and then a number of transfers. They've had an influx of new players, whether that's at quarterback, running back, tight end. And they spread the field and and try to put you in position where you got to pick and choose. So defensively, uh, they're a very attacking style. You know, they do everything they can do to disrupt the run and create negative plays and play quite a bit of man coverage. Um, so I think they've established themselves. They've got an identity on defense. The coordinator's been there for a number of years, and it's one of the reasons why they've had a lot of success. So. These guys present a number of challenges, and, and most importantly, they know how to win. They've had success, and being in state here, they'll have a little bit of a chip on the shoulder uh, and be prepared to play well here in our state. So, with that being said, um, we're excited about this opportunity, and, and as a first year head coach and first year staff, uh, we look forward to the future. Thank you very much, Coach. Our uh, first questions come from Dan McDonald with The Advocate. Dan, please go ahead. Morning, Coach. Uh, you, you talked about your players being ready, getting ready for a first game. It's also your first game. What have you done to prepare yourself? Well, I've really stuck with the routine that I've had a chance to be a part of, you know, over the last five, six, seven years, just in terms of preparing for the game, dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's. And, you know, our, our typical in-season week, um, you know, I think does that. Uh, we have had an opportunity to kind of go through a in-season week, you know, over the past five days um, as a staff, and now we're kind of starting over. So today would be our second Monday, in-season Monday. You know, and then as we go forward here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've already done these things once as a staff and as a team. So I think ironing out the wrinkles and really making making sure that everyone understands the expectations is important. 